Good morning, my name is Rista Costa and welcome to Hope Corby Devotion. You will agree that the year 2020 has been a very challenging one. The whole world appeared to be locked down. There was total confusion, complete disarray and fear gripped the world. Millions were infected and hundreds of thousands lost their lives to COVID-19. But we thank God that heaven was not locked down. Christians had 24-7 access to our Heavenly Father. As the world was challenged negatively because of the events that were trending, some Christians were also challenged positively and sought God's face like never before. I personally found myself challenged positively and I thank God for that and as a result I delved deeper into the things of God. So what were your expectations at the beginning of 2020 and what would you say is your current outcome? And as we end, we come closer to the end of the year, do you think that the year will end well or would you say that 2020 will end well? I personally believe that 2020 will end well. The Bible tells us that in everything we should give thanks. So whatever the outcomes are, I believe that it will end well. And I've just been um, meditating on certain scriptures and using them as my prayers for what my expectations are. And I'll share some of them with you. My prayer or my expectation Uh, from Psalm 27 verse 4 is that one thing one thing I ask of the Lord that I will that do I seek that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and I just pray that this expectation will not be diverted my second expectation is from Psalm 23 verse 6 that Um, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever and I pray that this expectation will come to fruition. I just want to encourage you that let us not be distracted by the events that are unfolding. As there is no faith or hope without expectation, let us stretch our faith and expect that we will end the year well. Let us spend quality time with our Maker praying, seeking his face, reading the word of God and listening to what he has to tell us. Let us fellowship with one another, supporting, loving and being there for one another, even as Christ has helped us to do so. Let us stand and declare that 2020 will end well. It does not matter what challenges that we face. Let us persevere and give thanks. But the Bible tells us that in everything we should give thanks. Therefore, let us not lower our expectations. Thank you and God bless you.